We just finished checking into our hotel. We are staying at the Hyatt Andaz, and everyone here has been super, super nice. Japanese people here have been so cordial and friendly to us. We stayed at the Hyatt Andaz for two nights, and it's actually a really nice hotel. We highly recommend it. It's very clean, very modern, very zen. And this hotel room was actually very spacious and came with a lot of accommodations. The hotel staff was incredibly warm and friendly. They all spoke English, which was very helpful since none of us spoke Japanese, and they really helped us figure out what there was to do in Tokyo. Hey guys, the rumors are true. There's like vending machines everywhere in Tokyo. And we love going to 7 Eleven because there's a lot of small snacks that you can get there and get a little flavor of the local food. I'm at the subway station in Tokyo right now. It's much cheaper to travel by subway in Tokyo. Public transportation is so convenient here. Everything's labeled in English, as you can see. So it makes it easy. And it's actually really, really cheap, cheaper to travel through a subway rather than taking a taxi cab. And it's a cultural experience. So we're going to see how it goes for our first subway ride. Unfortunately, all the days we were in Tokyo, it was kind of cloudy and rainy, which made for a really cool season. It wasn't too hot. And on the outer parts of Tokyo, it's actually really beautiful and really green. There's even Gudetama snacks. Today we're going to Nikko Park, which is a nice national park in close to Tokyo, Japan. Oh guys, this latte is real. It's real.
spent our last four nights in Tokyo at the Park Hyatt, which is where the Lost in Translation movie was filmed. It's actually a really beautiful hotel. I think it was a little overrated, but the food was amazing and the views are stunning. I'm gonna go to Ginza right now and maybe do a little bit of shopping, maybe get my nails done, we'll see. to Shibuya's crosswalk, which is the largest crosswalk in the entire world, and maybe go to Harajuku. Here is Shibuya's most loyal dog. It really makes me miss the puppies at home. Shibuya has one of the world's largest intersection, and we are hoping to cross it today. We're crossing the crosswalk. There are a lot of people and it's not even prime time yet. Of course, I made a pit stop to Toku Hands to load up on some Japanese craft items. Harajuku is a very famous street in Tokyo. It has all sorts of sweets and forward fashion creative clothing line that you can only purchase down the street and nowhere else in the world. everyone today is our final day in Tokyo we will be going to Seoul this evening which I'm really excited about we're actually going to get our pre-wedding photos done in Korea which has been I think going to be the highlight of our Asia trip we kind of built everything around that but while we stayed in Tokyo we got to explore the entire city and they have the most adorable things here and I'm going to share with you guys a few of the things I bought in terms of food I got this really cute cookie in the shape of a little bear. I think it's adorable and it says thank you on the heart. I also got this cute little cookie that has a little chicken flour. They have a lot of goods that are packaged really, really nice and they are really, really, really adorable. Almost too cute to eat. Here is the close-up version of the two really cute cookies that I bought in Tokyo. I just absolutely love them and of course they taste sweet. They taste like a standard cookie. In terms of food, I also bought a box of really, really cute macaroons. As you can see, the packaging is so nice. The lady took all this time to package and put a sticker on it. I'm going to see if I can get them out. Alright, so it took a while to remove because I got my nails done while I was here and it's much harder to remove things with gel nails. So this is from Chocoholic and inside I have the cutest tiny macaroons. I don't know if you can see it. This one has a little puppy face on it. This one has a little frog. Here's a little panda. I have a little koala bear. And of course, a little chick. Aren't they really cute? And of course, I got my nails done in, in Japan. I actually went to like six different shops before I could find one that would allow me to walk in. They're very hard to see. I got short nails because I do a lot of things with my hands and having long nails just isn't really conducive to that. So I just had my nails done in really, really pretty gel. I picked a really nude pink color because I'm going to get my photos done um, in two days and I didn't want anything super outrageous. But if I came back another time and didn't have photos, I probably would get something much more elaborate. In the meantime, we're going to go explore the city, maybe chill in the hotel a bit, and catch you guys later. Bye!